Welcome to the testing world. Now we have seen how we can write first test case using a robot framework. Here we have seen every, for everything that we want to perform on the browser, we have a specific keyword. Each and every task we are going to perform by using predefined keyword. These are predefined keywords provided by robot framework to perform specific tasks. I'm going to use few more keywords, but this time I'm going to show you browser specific keywords. So one of the most common keyword is maximize window. We, previously we have seen, we have created this simple test case and we have executed that as well. So I'm just going to execute this. Once it is going to execute, here you can see my browser is not opening in the maximize mode. So I want to start the browser in maximize mode. I'm just closing it and I'm coming here. I want to start my browser in maximize mode. So I'm just inserting the row over here and we are using a keyword maximize browser window. Uh, I have just removed the last line because I don't want to click on a sign in button as of now. So I'm just starting the browser, maximizing browser window, and then enter username and the password. Running it. So here you will notice browser is started. Now it's going to be maximized. And now my username and password. So first browser specific keyword we have seen it's maximize window. Next keyword is go to. Go to keyword is used to open any URL. So here if I go to my test case, here I want to open google.com. So I'm just writing go to and which URL you want to open. So I'm using https www.google.com. So go to is the keyword with the help of which we can open any URL. I'm just saving and running it. So now we will notice. Open browser. Now it's going to maximize and here it is moved to the google.com. So now we have seen the second keyword, which is a go to keyword. And this go to keyword is going to use navigate to any URL. Next keyword is go back. So go back is quite similar to this back button. If you want to click on this back button, we can use keyword go back. So I'm using next keyword, which is go back. And here there is no argument. We need not to pass any argument over here. I'm just saving it. I'm closing all the browser I'm having I'm running it again so this time it should open facebook.com enter username and the password go to the google.com and then click on the back button so here we are on the google.com and now back button we again came to the Facebook page I'm going to show you this complete operation with the I'm adding with some delay so I'm adding a row in between them and using sleep. I want to make a sleep of 10 seconds. So I'm making a sleep. Sleep means I want to pause my execution for the 10 seconds. So it will go to the google.com then wait for the 10 second and only after that click on go back. I'm just running it again. So here it should open facebook.com, maximize browser, enter username and password, then go to the google.com. Now it's waiting for 10 seconds because we added 10 seconds sleep. And once the 10 seconds will be over, it will go back to the Facebook page. So now we are on the Facebook page again. So we have seen third keyword, which is go back. And the last keyword for this session is close browser. So at the end of the test case, if we want to close our browser, 
we can use the keyword close browser so I'm just coming here on my robot IDE and I'm going to use close browser we need not to pass any argument over here I'm just running this test case again and this time it should after completing the test case after completing all the steps that I have written in the test case it should close the browser so let's wait for 10 seconds and then it will click on a back button and then close browser so now browser is closed so here in the session we have seen few common keywords in which we are maximizing the window go to any URL go back and close browser apart from it we have seen sleep and sleep is used to add delay between the steps so whenever we are using sleep keyword we need to give time like 5 s is for the seconds d for the day h for hours so we need to pass number and then unit so unit we are passing in the form of like 5 s means 5 seconds so we have already seen sleep keyword on this session that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video hello all hope you enjoy this video if you have any questions regarding this video please ask in the comment section and also please like and subscribe for more software testing courses also we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in dollar 200 find us on facebook for more offers and updates here is the url facebook.com testing word india